welcome to Turkey. Ahoy! Here we are with another video. Finally, we have crossed the border into Turkey. And we are very curious about what is hidden for us in this country. In today's video you will see a grand bazaar, a blue mosque in Turkey, wild cliffs on the Black Sea and a beautiful mini beach which is only 55 kilometers from the Istanbul. Crossing the border was not difficult, as a citizen of the Czech Republic we received a 90-day auto visa entry. So did Gekon, he got 95-day car visa. There was no problem with Audrey either. Most custom officers, when they heard that we have a big dog in the van, they just want to quickly open and much faster close the door of the van. As usual, we celebrated our arrival in the country with a proper dinner and a glass of meat. And Adri finds some friends on the first day. Istanbul was the first city where we went to in Turkey. And I think next time we won't go straight to such a big city. We still had no idea what the prices were here. And such a large city did not set us a very good example. Ah well, we just starting to travel and we will gain experience on the way. Everyone discouraged us from driving directly into Istanbul, saying that the traffic here is crazy. And I would agree, once I saw those narrow streets and how people drive there, but you don't have to drive directly to the center. We park in the big parking lot connected to the highway and walk to the center. We decided to visit the Grand Bazaar and also took Adri with us. We passed the entrance inspection and became so popular that within two hours word spread so fast that a wolf had entered the largest market in the world. Germany? German. Uh, German Shepherd with Carpathian Wolf. A mix? Carpathian mix. German Shepherd. Ah. <laughs> it's, it's called Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog. Uh, bravo. <laughs> Everybody already knows. Everybody said, oh, we know, we, we, we are hearing about that there's this dog here. <laughs> so nice. So nice. So nice. Adri become, as usual, a biggest attraction and for some, a source of terror in the neighborhood. We ran into the whirlwind of bargaining. Some of us did better and some worse. What can I say? Some women get fooled by bearded candy sellers very easily. So we bought overpriced teapots, Turkish chai, scarf and some sweets. If you are planning to visit a bazaar, keep in mind you don't come here to buy things but experience and test your bargaining skills. And if you want to buy something, you should do it outside of the Grand Bazaar, because those guys are bargaining every single day and you won't stand a chance against them. When visiting the mosque, certain rules must be followed. Shoes are not allowed inside and women must also enter veiled. We were excited to visit the Blue Mosque, but there was a renovation going on there, so we didn't get much of it. Luckily, Hagia Sophia Grand Mosque offered us a beautiful view of its interior. This building has an interesting shape-shifting history. It was originally a Greek Orthodox Church from 360 AD to 1453, when it became a mosque. In 1935 it became a museum and since 2020 it is a mosque again.
While we waited for Leah, Adri became the center of attention. Again. <laughs> we liked Istanbul quite a lot, but the city was too crowded for us. So we ended our visit with the perfect shisha and tea that day and left into the countryside. Away. And with the countryside comes the invasion of cows. Our main way of searching for places where we will go is via the Park for Night application. Here we also found this very nice place called Kurna Beach. Basically, we had a whole beach to ourselves, unless there was a herd of cows basking there. And from time to time, we like to discover unknown places, which with it comes the risk of adventure. Like driving through on map roads. No, deto, 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 deto. Akorát prostě s tím zapřít. To je tehný. To je vyjedeme, úplně v klidu. To je problém. Teda, to není problém, jako fakt. Máš jí vyměřítka pro dobrý. To je ještě dobrý. Štěstí přeje těm, co se neposerou. And thanks to that, you can find gem places like this.
So those were our first experiences in Turkey. This country has so much more to offer. And we can't wait to share that with you in our next episode of our travels. Until then, hoi!